Hello, all my service now champions. Hope you are having a great day today. Uh, today we are going to continue with our predictive intelligence module learning, and this time we are going to talk about the clustering solution. Right. So as we have seen from the past, clustering is about identifying uh, records into groups uh, based on some criteria. Right. And the idea is to identify a pattern. So it's not about predicting. It's not about having a relationship between some sort of inputs and some sort of output. It's about segregating data uh, into different uh buckets right uh, some common examples are uh, segregating data based on assignment groups short description segregating change records based on the on, on the change description um, identifying different problem records based on record description and the ci combinations right so you're just trying to bucketize that's even a word into different segments so in this particular example, we will follow ServiceNow's documentation. They have put up a great documentation together on how to set this up, uh, but there's an example to it. So we will just follow along with the ServiceNow documentation and see how a cluster model is coming out. So I'm on their Rome documentation. I will link their documentation in, in, in the description as well. And now we will start creating a clustering. So in, in this example, we will try to group incidents which have occurred to identify a major incident right um, so let's just follow along um, also to let you know this particular example itself comes as an out of the box uh, solution but we will still try to recreate it just so that we get an idea okay so we'll try to label it say v2 word corpus uh, we have already seen word corpus is the vocabulary that goes into the solution uh, there's there comes a couple that come out of the box uh, let's see we'll just do so word corpus is the vocabulary that the model uses to build its definition on we'll just select something that's related to incidents which is incidents last six months table it will be incident because we're trying to group records from the incident table fields will be the the inputs that will help us identify a pattern because we're following the documentation we will go with the short description we could have chosen this as a, a combination of different fields just to let you know if there is a reference field please do not select the reference because it will be a sys id so you can always go and select the reference field dot name we want to make sure that we have uh, at least or at the most three hundred thousand records this seems like a little more so we'll just look at we'll just uh, look at everything that's active false and maybe create it this year that should take the count down it did okay so we can always group by if you want to group by records by any field we, and that is on the result page we don't need that for now create cluster table insight we will definitely check this because we will later on see how this plays out calculate purity so this is an interesting concept so purity really is the extent to which there is classes that are present in a cluster uh, because in, in this case our classes could be uh, the different fields or variables that are present on the incident form so we just really have to see when we are 
when when we have our groups created how well does assignment groups or CIs or category exist in them uh, this is also an advanced clustering concept and I will link more around it in the in the description below just so that you can take a quick read and understand what is the significance of it uh, if you have more clusters you will have more purity um, so yeah you can read more about this as you can see it is not a mandatory field which means that even if I don't provide anything service now will create some uh, it, it will consider some classes by default you can configure which default classes it should consider as part of purity by going in the table you can take it you can take a look at it maybe at a later st stage but in this case we will select category and assignment group and if you just recall I had mentioned that if it's a reference field we would definitely want to take the name we took the name okay stop words we'll just go let it go as is so you see update frequency and training frequency right so training frequency is the frequency with which the model gets trained right but the update frequency is how soon do you want me to update the groups because as we progress there will be new incident records that will be created and you might probably want to leverage the same um, cluster definition and then updates update the, the groupings right so but if you if you do want to continue to update the learning of the definition you use training frequency as whatever frequency that is okay so with that we will click on submit and train so now it is fetching files for training we will refresh Okay, it's progressing so we will wait till it goes to 100% so now you would see that we see three rows instead of the one earlier because as you would notice the bottom two errored out it happened because the PI um, predictive intelligence module was not activated on this instance and we were receiving an error so we went to the high portal raised the ticket waited a couple of days and then came back ran it again ran it again and now we see it as solution complete so we will open this solution and analyze the results so that is how the result of a clustering solution looks like not sure if you can hear the loud thunder on the background it's a little crazy here but we keep going uh, so you would notice that it is giving us solution coverage, number of records clustered, uh, number of clusters. You would you would know that you know we we try to create a cluster in everything, and it is really difficult to create a cluster on one million records. So you would always want to try to limit down. Again, we are just going by what the documentation says. So it was only able to churn in 0.5 uh, uh, five. 0.5% of the total record and it created 308 clusters or groups and the total number of record within those clusters is about 100,000 let's go to cluster visualization so this is the cluster visualization as you can see there is a tree map right which is the table collection of cluster nodes on the top you have a cluster size and cluster quality so the cluster size is the number of records that it has placed in each cluster right so 4300 would mean that there are 4300 rows or incident records in that cluster cluster quality is really a measure of how similar the items are in one 
node right so a, a, a big cluster which means a cluster that has about 100 rows in it would not mean that all of them are similar there will be a degree of similarity between them and that is why it has uh, tied them together so the tree node is dynamic which means if, if I'm only looking for cluster quality which is 100% you would see that okay now it has rearranged the cluster in a way so that I am very certain that all these records in the cluster would be of the same type um, and the result could be that it is coming off from an event or alert or an incident something of that nature similarly oh, like the thunder again so similarly if i do a cluster size i can always look at clusters that have the most data in it and in this case if you see that if i increase my cluster quality and cluster size so it seems like i can directly look at my incident module go to these three four clusters and find out what's going on why am i seeing so many incidents from this area and then i can talk to the service owner so i would want to touch on one more concept here about purity so we talked about how purity is like the subclass in a, in a cluster which is again how the records in the cluster are uh, grouped together right uh, as part of the solution definition we chose the purity to be category and assignment group uh, so let's hover above a record and see how it's like so if we take this one we would see that the quality is 96 which means there's the, the, the it's, it's pretty neat it's a pretty clean data and there are 4,000 records um, so they're pretty much the same uh, there is all of them if it's hundred percent the chances are that almost all of them are on the same category and if you see the assignment group is some automation group so that would clearly tell you that there are 4,000 incidents in past so many times all coming from the same source so definitely you would want to take a look at that see what's going on this is how you would identify whether there is an opportunity to automate this already seems like an automation group so maybe it could be a job that has been failing but nobody has been paying attention and this could be your chance to to take care of of that incident of that whole integration or that tool so that's how you can uh, troubleshoot uh, the issue and then reduce your results from uh, such clustering if you happen to analyze and find this is not correct then maybe you need to run your clustering solution again with a different kind of data set and analyze whether it's matching the data and your hypothesis is, is matching the result of the solution that you're seeing in if you click on any of the cluster it will open the cluster and uh, cluster results in a separate window so that you can see and take a look at all the records that are appearing and the next step is the solution definition which is nothing but the, the same as to what we had um, presented earlier while we were trying to configure the solution so hope this uh, small brief about the uh, clustering solution helps if you get a chance please give it a try it's a really interesting investigative detective kind of a uh, feature from ServiceNow which is really fun to work with it has some great results and great value that it's providing to the system so i hope you found some value uh, with this video and uh, see you in the next one thank you